Hey, data center admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's walk through the process of installing the latest release of Ubuntu Server 20.04, aka Focal Fossa. The first step is to select your language. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, select the language you wish to use for the installation and hit Enter on your keyboard. In the next screen, you can choose to work with the new installer. Use your keyboard arrow keys to select Update to the new installer and hit Enter on your keyboard. Once you have made the update and the installer has downloaded the necessary files, you'll be asked to select your keyboard layout. Once you've made your selections, make sure Done is highlighted and hit Enter on your keyboard. The next step is to configure networking. Your networking device will automatically be selected. Using your arrow keys, select the network adapter to be configured and hit Enter. A pop-up menu will appear where you can select what you'd like to configure, IPv4, IPv6, or VLAN tags. Say you want to configure a static IPv4 address. Select IPv4 and then, when prompted, use your arrow keys to highlight the IPv4 method and hit Enter. From the pop-up, select Manual. In the resulting window, fill out the necessary information for your network connection. After configuring the static IP address, tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard. You'll be returned to the Network Connections window, where you can tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard once again. In the resulting window, you can set a proxy. If you don't need one, tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard. Next, you must select a mirror for the Ubuntu installation. You shouldn't have to do anything here, so tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard. You now have to select the storage configuration. Chances are good you can stick with the default, which is to use the entire disk. In this same screen, you can opt to set the disk up as an LVM group. After you complete this section, tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard. The next screen offers a summary of your file system. Give the summary a read and, if it's acceptable, tab down to Done and hit Enter on your keyboard. A pop-up will appear asking you if you want to continue. Tab down to Continue and hit Enter on your keyboard. In the resulting screen, you are asked to create a new user and a name for the server. Fill out the necessary details for the new user and the server's host name, tab down to Done, and hit Enter on your keyboard. You will then be prompted if you want to install the OpenSSH server. Tap the spacebar on your keyboard, tab down to Done, and hit Enter on your keyboard. You can now select all of the packages you want to include with the installation. After making your selections, tab down to Done, and hit Enter on your keyboard. At this point, the installation will complete, and you'll be prompted to reboot to finish up. <laughs> If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.